Welcome to another video here on the channel. In this video, we're going to be breaking down the teaser for episode five of The Ones Who Live, and we have quite a bit to talk about. Okay, so the, tr the teaser opens up with the Once You Live title screen and saying on the next, and we see someone walking up. And at first I thought this was Jadis, and it very well could be, but we do see Rick and Michonne fighting other people. Is that some of Jadis's people that came with her to hunt them down, or is it like another group that they run into along the way? We'll have to wait and see, but there are more people than just Michonne, Rick, and Jadis in this trailer. Then we get a shot of Rick and Michonne barging into a cabin. And it looks like this is where they're going to try to hold up for some of this uh, story. And I'm thinking this cabin might be like somewhere around Yellowstone. That's what I'm thinking right now. now could this cabin belong to the people that we later see Rick and Michonne fighting with? We'll have to wait and see. Then we get some lovey-dovey time with Rick and Michonne as they're kind of, you know, they're back together now. They're on the same page and, you know, they're, they're, just, I, they're just happy to be together, I think. Which, you know, this is The Walking Dead, so we can't have happiness. And then we get this menacing shot of the cabin that Rick and Michonne are in. We see that they are together and they're happy, so they may have let their guard down a little bit. And we know that someone's coming because we saw that opening shot of someone walking up on them. We don't know who it is quite yet, but some, you know, this this scene is meant to uh, meant to cause anxiety. Then we get more footage of this cloaked figure that could be um, Jadis or it could be someone else. We don't know. Um, there are other people we're going to get to that a little bit later in the breakdown, but uh, I think this possibly could be Jadis. But something about this this person's build doesn't look like Jadis. You know, Jadis is a tall but really, um, really thin, trim uh, woman, and this person looks to be a, quite a bit bigger than, than Jadis. Then we get some shots of Michonne and Rick being chased, and we know that this is Jadis that's chasing them right here because we, we saw that in the main show uh, trailer. And then we see Rick and Michonne kicking their way out of the out of the truck, and uh, they're surrounded by walkers. And uh, who knows? Maybe they wreck. Maybe Jadis wrecks. Maybe they're trying to get out and try to get the upper hand on Jadis right here. But we, you know, again, we really won't know until we see the episode. Then we see Michonne and Rick. Michonne's trying to take out this walker, but it its head is like calcified. And her sword can't penetrate. And is this a is this maybe a variant walker? I, I really don't think so. I think this is probably a walker around Yellowstone because there's a lot of talk about them being at Yellowstone and part of the part of the series. And maybe this is just a walker that was too close to some of the toxic pools around Yellowstone and has like this calcified buildup on its head that makes it hard to kill. Then we have another shot of Michonne looking at that same walker, but if you look behind her, this is some of the people I think maybe. That lived in the cabin that they that they find, but we have one person on the ground. It looks like they're kicking someone crouched over them. That that could be a walker crouched over that person, but um, I mean that's not Jadis and it's not Rick. So you know this there's going to be some new characters in this episode. Uh, I, they probably won't last long because you know new characters have not lasted long in this show so far. So I would look I would expect them to probably come into the show, have a few scenes, and then probably die gruesomely. I mean that's what we've seen so far. I mean, and I guess they could be CRM soldiers, just not dressed um, in full garb, you know, because they might want, they, you know, if you want to keep secret, you wouldn't want people out in the world to see you in your full uniform. So maybe, maybe this is part of the people that came, maybe this is people that came with um, Jadis to hunt um, Rick and Michonne down. But I, from what I've seen, I kind of get the feeling that Jadis comes on her own, right, right? I mean, that's what I'm thinking now. Then we have Michonne in some kind of a structure, and she has her gun drawn somewhere. She got a gun, and uh, we have Rick fighting it. This looks like the same person that was on the ground. They're wearing the same clothes. You know, who are these people? And then, you know, a little bit later, we have another picture, and it's, it's I mean, another scene. It's Michonne, and she's fighting with someone, too. You know, who are these people? We have yet to see Jadis in any of this, but we know in any of these scenes, but we know that Jadis is driving the truck that's chasing Michonne and Rick. So she's in this. We just haven't seen her seen her much. So they might be wanting to keep that um, kind of a secret till we get into the into the episode. So then we get this. Uh, we get Michonne, and she's telling Rick, you know, I see what you mean. We we have to go back. You know. So what what has happened in this episode that makes Michonne say we have to go back? You know, who are these people they were dealing with in this episode? You know, in the trailer that. I mean, they've probably killed these people. And, and I mean, what would make Michonne want to go back? You know, especially at this point when they're they're clearly, they, they you know, at the end of episode 
four, we thought they were free. So what what is go, what goes on in this episode that makes Michonne change her mind? Okay, so then we have Rick looking back at Michonne. And he has blood on his face, and he he's this is right after she says we have to go back. I really think that right here, Jadis is caught up with them, and maybe these people are with Jadis and Rick and Michonne. They've just killed these people, and they've just killed Jadis, and they realize they can't get back to Alexandria before this file that Jadis has is found. So they have to go back to the CRM. They have to find her stuff, and they have to destroy it. That's kind of where I think we are right now. I could be completely wrong, but that's just from what we've seen in this teaser, that's, what, that's kind of where I think we are right now. From what we've seen in the other trailers, this building looks to be the building that Jadis is in when she's walking through with her gun drawn. So I really do think they've killed Jadis here. We also see Jadis a couple of different times in the, you know, outside and the landscape looks the same. So I am for sure, 100% sure that Jadis, this is where Jadis chases them because we saw the car chase. Like I said, we see the same building in her, in her scenes. So yeah, I think Jadis is 100% going to die right here. And I think Rick has just killed her or Michonne has just killed her. And before I said that, I thought maybe Thorne was with Jadis hunting Rick and Michonne, but I don't think that anymore. You know, I said that in a previous video, but we didn't see anything in the teaser to make me think that, uh, that Thorne is there. She's probably back at the base, you know, getting ready for the summit. I'm sure that, you know, they have her doing a lot of like security type stuff. So, yeah, I, I don't think she's going to be. She may not even be in this episode at all. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, guys. So now I want to know what you think. What do you think about this teaser? Let me know in the comments. Do you think that Jadis does, in fact, die in this episode? And we've, we we saw right after she died, like I think when Rick is has the blood on his face and he's talking to Michonne. Do you think these other people that we see in the teaser are CRM peep soldiers, maybe just not in the uniform? Are they someone they come across? Maybe they're the people that, you know, that own this cabin. What do you think? Let, let me know. Let me know all that stuff in the comments. I really, really do enjoy reading your comments and seeing your thoughts. You know, not all of them, you know, because some people are pretty mean, but you know, for all you people who are, who are really just wanting to join in the conversation, I, yeah, I really do appreciate you you commenting and and uh, wanting and just me being able to get to know you. You know, it's it's not just uh, me here having this conversation. I like to know what you think, and uh, for all you that do it, I just want to say thank you. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to see more content, you can click the box on the left and that will take you to my The Ones Who Live playlist or you can click the box on the right and that will take you to a recently uploaded video or you can click in the middle and sub to the channel so you don't miss any future Walking Dead content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.